What's going on guys? It's Mike for Sim Racing 604 and welcome back to Automobilista 2 and as part of their one year anniversary celebration, yes it's been one year since the release of Automobilista 2 and we've seen some huge improvements over that time and to celebrate that one year they've given us some new content including this beautiful Lotus 79. The Race Sim Studio version of this car for Assetto Corsa is one of my favorite all-time mods. I don't feature it a lot on the channel but I absolutely love it and I was excited to drive this Lotus 79 and I think it's really, really great. So all I'm going to do in this video, I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm going to take the Lotus 79 out to the classic Spielberg layout just for some laps. And I've linked to the full change log in the description. Congratulations to Reza on one year. And uh, I think you're doing a great job. I think this sim is fantastic. and I'm having a lot of fun with it. So let's go ahead and get out on track. Okay, so here we are in the pits, Spielberg 1974 on board the Lotus 79. You can see that new HUD in the lower right hand corner of the screen there, or at least the body damage and engine damage and brake temperature. Also has tire pressure. It's kind of redundant perhaps. I don't know why they don't move the tire temperature on the right over to the new HUD, but anyway, they're working on it, I'm sure. All right, so we're just gonna put in a few laps here at Spielberg. I made some minor setup tweaks here, just lowered the tire pressure a bit, couldn't quite get them up to temperature before, and also softened the anti-roll bar at the front, so it's getting some weird understeer effect in the low speed corners. But this is quite frankly the best track for this car, I've tried it at a few others, and uh, that weird understeer effect seems to come into play more and more, but uh, here at the classic version of Spielberg, it seems great. I'm just thinking now that Silverstone probably would work too. So you really have to slow the car. It got around nicely that time, but if you try and push around the corner, try and induce some oversteer, you kind of slip angle your way around a corner. It doesn't always work out here in the AMS2 version of the Lotus 79 at least. Like that right there, that's what I want, but it's harder than you might imagine to induce. Starting to get some temp into the tires now. Probably push a little bit on this lap. Hoping to be somewhere in the uh, 129s. Didn't allow myself much fuel here. Don't know why, but we'll get about four or five laps, I hope. It's a really beautiful course. I love these classic tracks. whatever reason, the classic advertising signage is what really sets these off. It's not so much the layout for me, it just takes me back, well it doesn't take me back, of course I wasn't alive when they were running at courses like this, but uh, it just really puts me in sort of a period of racing. I think Ray's has done a great job. Tires are up to temp. Whoops. That was a horrible corner. Let's see if we can get into the low 129s. Not on this lap, but uh, the following. Last one was a 131, so I've got a lot of work to do here. Gear ratio is obviously kind of funky. Pinning fifth gear. You saw me fighting that oversteer there. 
car's actually really fun on the limit. See those beautiful Austrian hills in the background there? And this again, the balance between oversteer and understeer. to the left here, trying to get over this crest, flat out. Fully two seconds ahead of my previous best, so I will be into the 129s, I hope. Too much speed here. Let's see what we did for time. 128.718. That's actually only about 0.4 seconds off the record, so maybe I gotta take to the uh, time trial mode. I'm slightly ahead right now. Although the live timing delta here in AMS2 tends to be a bit skewed versus what you actually finish the lap at. Yeah, if I had more fifth gear, I could definitely, uh, up some time. Put the tire onto the grass there. Oh no. That's going to lose me a bunch of time. Whoa. Oh, Mike. Uh, not good. Not good. The current record in time trial mode is a 128.340. Thought I was going to get pretty close there. But I got cocky. And I'm sure by the time you see this video, somebody will have ran a 124 or something crazy. Alright, looking like this will be the final lap. So let's do a final push here. Make up a few tenths, get down into the mid 128s. Not a great corner. Decent exit though, up about a quarter second. Get cocky. So I won't beat the record. Pretty darn close, I think. Yeah, we can squeeze out one more lap, I think, on this fuel. 0 0.05 off the record, wow. And again, I say record, but <laughs> the truth is probably about five people have ever tried it, so I won't let it get to my head, I promise. I guess I really haven't shared my thoughts on the car, but hopefully you can tell by the fact that I'm putting in so many laps that I really love it. Um, I'm hoping Reza sees this, and I'm hoping they can uh, soften that anti-roll bar by default, because I know a lot of people like to run default setups, especially on older cars like this. Um, but yeah, I just found it was it had this weird understeer. Oh boy, 
that was not good. All right. Not going to do it, but I'm sure you could. But yeah, overall, a lot of fun, guys, here in this Lotus 79. There's a second car as well. They're calling it Formula Retro Gen 2. Yeah, very cool. All right, guys. Uh, these are available now in AMS 2. I hope you have fun with it. And uh, like I said, I'm sure by the time you see this, the record will be down like a 124 or something. But either way, I had fun doing it, chasing that record. Thanks, guys, so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.